Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Wokey here, and I'm here with some fake Grand Order. Um, so for the next couple of days, um, technically for the next three days, um, I'm basically going to be doing one video a day. And the reason is, is because I need to grind Nero Fest. What's Nero Fest? That's what we're doing today in today's video. So fake Grand Order is notoriously bad for um, being held to grind. Uh, for everyday materials in general, so uh, the only time it's not a hell is when there's a lottery event and today's lottery gives us pages, it gives us medals, it gives us proof of heroes, and it gives us chains. Extremely good items, um, I should say, so the reason why I'm taking time off is because I need to farm, basically you can farm, farm them at infinite, an in infinitum. The only thing that's holding you back is your stamina, and I have a lot of stamina, so I only got two days left to grind all this, and it's easier to just grind now and worry about it later. So for the next channel, the videos that are coming up are just going to be a video a day, and I figured I may as well show you why and show you what the hell I'm putting myself through constantly by doing this. So let's go in. Um, you'll realize that there's sound in it because Fake Grand Order doesn't uh, work well with um, USB debugging, but apparently on JP that's changing. Anyway, we'll go here. This is the farming team. We got Bunyan leading the main force at uh, level 100, 10, 10, 10 skills. We got Arish. He has 10, 10, 10 skills as well, but he only needs one of them at 10. The others were for fun. Both of them MP5. We got my boy Waver at 10, 10, 10 with a CE that gives plus two ribbons. And then I have Support Waver, who is also 10 10 10 and also gives plus two ribbons. And then we got uh, Shakespeare, and he's 10 on one skill and then four on the other. And he also has a ribbon CE. And then in the end, we have Fuma, who's just here to be happy. It, honestly, he doesn't even need to be here. Uh, let's put Skidatch there, because she's almost close to getting a bond up, and maybe we can get it in this video. So, without further ado, let me show you what you do in Nero Fest. Um, so if you have a bunch of friends who've been playing a lot of Fate recently and you've been wondering what have you been doing with this Nero Fest? What is it? Is it, is it like crazy good? Is it, what is it? This is what it is. So get ready for it. Okay. Almost there. First, we have to wait for the, the foe to stop running. Foe is uh, running to let you know that it's loading. And then we get, okay, battle one. Oh, we're going to fight a bunch of books. Okay. Oh man, all these books. What could we possibly do to stop these books? And the answer is we're gonna stell them in the face. And here it is. And now the books are dead. Print media is dead, as we know it. And now they're gone. And now Arish is dead. And then he gets replaced with the support waiver I put in the back line. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's going fine. What's next? Now here's the part where, depending on my setup, it's either good or bad. And we got the bad setup. That's great. So we might not be able to three turn this, but basically we do this. And we do a little bit of that. And then we go here. And then Bunyan comes in, who has the shortest NP in the entire game at exactly, I believe, three seconds. One, two, three. That's done. And then she comes in, slaps him with the chainsaw bit sits on him and then he's dead and then finally we get to the final stage which is uh caster gil gilgamesh and bride nero here we go see they're all here and then i do a little bit of this oh we actually got a uh we actually are going to be able to three turn so then we do a little bit of that swap him in for him and he goes there he goes away. And then we go here. And if you bet you're wondering, how do you do this without double waiver? And the answer is, I don't really know. I guess the way you can substitute it is by using a dude who has like someone like Drake. I mean, there's ways. I'm not gonna try and be a smart ass and be like, there's no way, bro. There's totally a way. I just have a waiver, so I don't have to worry about that shit. What I care about is pure maximum efficiency. So there we go. And then they die. This is where they die. Told you. They die. 
Look at them die. Ah, oh, shit, are you serious? Fucking hell, why did you survive? Nero can sometimes survive depending on if she wants to survive or not. Usually she dies. And she's dead now, for sure. Yeah, and you basically do that over and over and over again until you want to die. So that's what I'm doing. And if I wanted to technically make this go faster, I would use Drake. But I don't want to use Drake, I want to use Bunyan. So there we go. So then, what do we do next? We wait for the loading to stop. The loading is never truly finished. It goes on in, on in infinite. So we go back in and we go it again. Using our boy Rips SQ, which stands for Rip Take My Sate Quartz. So yeah, this is NeuroFest. So while you're wondering, like, why hasn't Wokey uploaded a Dokkan video? I love his Dokkan stuff. Uh, this is why. It's because I'm going through this hell. And it's a never-ending hell of terribleness. There's also challenge quests, which I'm not going to be doing anymore because I've done the ones I want to do. I've done basically all the old ones and then I think I'm missing uh, Shitty Wolf, Da Vinci, and then the pre-nerf Nero one, which is stupid, and the King Asan one, which they... Oh god, they're such an asshole. I don't understand why they did what they did. Never mind, let me go back to this. Basically, there's a um, challenge quest with King Asan where in the original Japanese version, his taunt ability made it so he always targeted the left one, and this was a bug. Uh, for North America, they fixed that bug, and now he can target whoever the fuck he wants, which means it's totally random if you win. So that means that it's one of the hardest fucking things to deal with, because he also has a chance to just insta-kill you immediately so that's fun and by fun I mean that's a bunch of bullshit and they did that yeah. I'm determined to show that Bunyan can totally return it we have a pretty good rotation here I'd say this way. when I'm beginning to play rotation is that whether or not Bunyan can get um all three cards if she needs only two and then hopefully the next turn she gets three if she gets basically four or five of them it means that um you're not going to be able to return at that turn which really sucks but it is what it is you can still in, in theory three turn it if your waiver is strong enough but most people don't have a very strong waiver and he dies very easily i would say almost too easily sometimes but actually that's not true He's actually very hard to kill. And of course, after I talked about good rotation... Actually, this is still fine because she got Buster card. And Buster is what makes dreams come true. Let me see who this is that. Okay, that's mine. So that means I can get rid of my support. Support will buff. And then support can go fuck off. And then Shakespeare comes in and he says, Yo, what's up? He uses this to give her more MP. And he uses this to increase her Buster. And then second first, same as the first. And we should be able to kill in one go. Yes. There we go. Three turns. Doing this for the next three days. Technically by the time you see this it will be two days. Because the um, reset will happen. Are you fucking serious right now? Oh, it's because you didn't take the stupid defense buff, huh? Oh, this is shitty, because I've been literally... Okay, you know what? I, obviously, Nero is just going to be a little punk-ass right now. Such a little bastard. Why is she like that? Doesn't she know I have her at perfectly 10? Okay. We're going to go in one more time, and this time, I'm going to show you that I can three-turn it with Bunyan. I swear to God. Or else, so help me. I will bring down the thunder. Uh, let's go again. Uh, let's go with common. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite free grand order mod, common. Yes, he is a uh, moderator for the uh, fake grand order uh, Reddit. He's the Shiki mod. So if you wonder who Shiki, it's common. 
Unless you're not supposed to know that, in which case I'm sorry for telling everyone who you are, Common. I didn't know that people wasn't supposed to know that, so... My B. Let's go back in it. Uh, as we said before, go in here. Then, bam, bam, bam. See, in theory, what I should really do to, in order to up the efficiency of this is to um, remove the ribbon um, CE from Shakespeare and give it to Skathach and then put him with the CE that upon entering increases buster damage because then all the damage that I'm missing by a little bit will be completely like squashed, eh, which I should do. Okay, this is also not a bad rotation. The important thing is now I'm gonna have to rely on both my waivers here to actually kill the demon man. Because if they don't, then that automatically kills our dreams of. Okay, yeah, they can kill. Me. That is the power of having double buff. That means that she should have perfect. Come on. Fatal battle, this is the end. I'm gonna start by using my fucking defense down. Okay, they both got hit by it, perfect. Okay, so just to 100% confirm it, I'm gonna do something which I wasn't doing, which is adding that little attack thing at the end. And by end, I mean right now. Go. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, I'm just doing it based off of just pure raw memory. There we go. And then we... Bop, bop, bop. That should 100% kill. If it does not, then maybe I'm just a liar and I've been not three-turning this the entire time. No, she's dead. She's 100% dead. Cool, cool, cool. Three turns. And they're dead. Okay, so as you've seen, you just saw me do an entire thing of stamina on Nero Fest. Um, here's the other part, just to let you go through the process of what I would have to do next. You can see I'm low on stamina now. I've fallen. I think you can do three runs on a full stamina bar or so. Let me actually check. We're about to see, we're about to see real quick. Yeah, so... I go in there and then I use my golden apples which gives me a full HP back and I have 157 of those. So I can use as much as I fucking want and then here's the fun part. Then you go into the shop and you touch Nero's belly until it's all gone. Now enjoy the sensual Nero rubbing as we end the episode. I want to thank everyone out there who tuned in to this Fake Grand Order video to let you know why I'm, I fucked up the rhythm. Can't fuck up the rhythm. If you're wondering, is there a faster way to do this? The answer is no, there's not. There is not a faster way to do this unless you're using an automatic thing that fucks up your phone. There's no way to make this go faster. Um, so I want to thank everyone for watching the video today of Fake Grand, Grand Order. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you like Bunyan, leave a like. Do all that good stuff. Comment and tell me how you're farming for fate is going what team are you using i'm very interested to see if you're using a team with no waiver if you have no waiver how have you been farming tell me all that good stuff and until next time enjoy the videos and pray for my soul as i continue to farm this fucking nero fest until my fingers die oh god see that all mine and then i'll leave it off on the reset. That's right. Goodbye, everyone.